growing up, my grandma always told me that the land took care of us and it still is taking care of us. And it never asks for anything back. Everything is connected and it's not humans and animals or humans and the nature around us, you know, we're all connected. And that acknowledgement is a way to acknowledge that we're coexisting in this land with the native people and we should acknowledge that this is actually their traditional territory. But at the same time, we are all guests to this land. The land plays a big factor in who we are. That's what makes us strong. That's what makes us strong people. Dear friends, welcome. I'm Barry Schiffman, director here at the Banff International String Quartet Festival. And I'm thrilled that we are joined today by my dear friends in the Dali Quartet, some who I've known for many, many years. Let's go. We see Jesus. Jesus, wave your hand. Hello. Wonderful Adriana. Ari. Hey. Yeah, my dear friend Carlos. Woo. <laughs> yeah, and Ari, I think the last time I saw you probably was in Banff when you were, before you joined this great quartet in, in the Chamber Music Residency. I, th I think so, about 10 years ago, yeah. It's really good to see Thank you. you. <laughs> well, you're coming to us from Philadelphia, and we are soon going to hear a spectacular concert that you you sent to us for this festival with um, music of three composers uh, that I think have yet to have been performed at the Banff International String Quartet Festival. So we have Kina Serra, Ariaga, and Piazzolla, um, repertoire that comes from your uh, a particular, I won't say you're, 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 um, I won't say you're limited to the music of South America, but it's a particular a focus and expertise that you bring to it. Um, so maybe Carlos, maybe you could tell us how did that begin? Why, why this focus on the music of South America? Well, I mean, you know, um, Jesus is from Puerto Rico, Adriana, myself, we are from Venezuela. So, you know, Latin America, of course, you know, it, it's, it's a, a special, um, you know, important, you know, for us, you know, to portray our music, you know, our heritage, you know. So um, we, you know, we're thrilled to, you know, you know, for, for this opportunity you're giving to us, you know, to, you know, make this music, you know, that really means a lot to us, you know, just to everybody. Yeah, well, we're thrilled to, to, to have it. And, I, you know, of course, I knew these pieces. I didn't really know the Ariaga so well. Um, so I was, I, was, I was thrilled to discover that. Now, Ari, you've just joined this group of of uh, South Americans, and uh, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Minnesota, so another another Northlander like you. <laughs> yeah. So how's that how, how's that working out for you? You know, honestly, it's great. I started studying Spanish actually when I was a kindergartner, um, and I like always loved it, and um, it's been really fun for me to get to practice. I mean, you know, they've been really, really generous with me and putting up with my Spanish. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great. It's amazing. No, but it's super fun. And like, and this music that, you know, that we've just started talking about is so excellent. It's such evocative and inspiring music. And I feel so like ecstatic about getting to share that with people and being a part of you know, getting to play that, you know, the other music we play too, which obviously I love. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. These guys are are so wonderful. Yeah, well, I think I think this is this is the point that the music is so great, and and I think it's unfairly uh, ha yet to reach um, popular awareness. Um, of course, we know Piazzolla, we know Ariaga, we know Hinastera, but um, if you were to look across. You know all of the string quartet programs happening in the world. Um, I would say, particularly Hinastera is underrepresented. Those quartets are true genius, and uh, and and uh, you know I discovered. I think I discovered them through your work and through Quartetto Latinoamericano. Um, and it's, I mean, they're spectacular works. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad that you're you're presenting this now, Adriana. I remind me, you you knew Carlos already in Venezuela. Yes, I did. Um, he was a faculty member at my high school when I was a senior. Okay. And a young professor at the Emil Friedman School in Caracas, Venezuela. And then when I graduated from Indiana University, he was living in the Midwest 
and they were looking, this is another quartet, they were looking for a viola and a, a violist and a cellist, and they drove to Bloomington to audition us. So we played together in a, another quartet for about two years until we went separate ways and we just couldn't resist the idea, like he said before, to form a quartet that not only tackled on the classical music that we all already know on the repertoire, but people like us performing the music that we grew up with that means a lot to us, composers that we grew up with that people might have not heard otherwise. And 18 years ago when we formed um, the quartet, not many people knew, and still to this day, every time we perform, a lot of people come from out of the concert saying, if it wasn't for this concert, I would have never been introduced to this composer or this music. So thank you for, you know, they always feel so thankful yeah. and grateful that, that we had this little idea about 18 years ago to, to have a quartet with the mission to promote our heritage, our composers, and all, our culture. Yeah, well, it's great that you're, you're doing that. It's great that we're able to share it. Um, I know that Carlos, um, from when I first met you, you know, came through this system of El Sistema. Um, what about you, Adriana? Did you also go through El Sistema? I, my school was founded by a Czech violinist by the name of Emil Friedman, who actually studied with Sefcik, the famous violinist uh, and pedagogue. But a lot of the teachers that I had in, in, in that school were uh, hired by El Sistema as well. So I was definitely exposed. And Friedman himself inspired many of the movements and the theories and culture of, of the El Sistema uh, philosophies. So I'm, I'm proud to say that even though I wasn't a part of the outside of the school program of El Sistema, it, there was a lot of co-existence uh, between the teachers, the faculty, and the philosophies. Right, and Jesus, so where are you from? I'm originally from Puerto Rico, and uh, but I have been coming back and forth between Puerto Rico and the United States for over 20 years. Because uh, like Ari, I also went to school at the Cleveland Institute of Music. Uh, so I'm accustomed to very cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> and I did spend a, a few weeks at Banff many years back because my roommate uh, in college, uh, Jasper Wood, um, you know, he wanted to do this residency there. So that's how we got involved in, in Banff and, of course, the cold weather. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, look, next time we see you, I hope that uh, we, we see you all actually in Banff. And, and you, the two of you that have been there, Jesus, Ari, you can introduce Adriana and Carlos to, to the magic of, of, of Banff Center. Um, you know, as you know, we have fantastic mountains and we have really good beer and lots of wildlife. But um, I think uh, what I'm most proud of is that we have um, a crazy committed string quartet audience who would love to to hear you and meet you so next time we do this in Banff thank you all for joining us and now let's listen to that extraordinary uh, recital you put together of Piazzola Ariaga and Inastera thank you so much Dali Quartet thank you thank you thank you for having us thank you um